Hey everyone, welcome back to String Cheese and Apple Sauce, where today we're going to do this Lego build of the Marvel Super Heroes Spider Helicopter Rescue. So you can see there's the, the helicopter right there. It has Green Goblin, Mary Jane, Spider-Man, and Power Man. So Spider-Man's the only figure in here that's not unique. All the other three minifigures are unique to this set. So if you want them, this set is the set to buy. There's our contents. We have a tiny little bag one. But our normal size bag two and bag three. Of course it always comes with a little mini comic book. So those are pretty cool. Oh, and then here's a unnumbered bag with the green goblin elements. We have a tiny sticker sheet. And it looks like two instruction books. So there we go. So instruction book one is going to assemble the Green Goblin, the Green Goblin's glider, and it looks like Spider-Man. So let's somehow get these open. Green Goblin figure doesn't have movable legs or head. It's all molded in one piece. But he will have movable arms and hands in the front. First off, we'll go ahead and just get Spider-Man out of the way. And like I said, this figure is not unique. We've seen him in a lot of other sets. Odds are, if you have any Spider-Man superhero sets, you probably already have this minifigure. And the Green Goblin arms are held on by a couple Technic pins with axles. So each arm just slides onto that axle end. And then the hands have a built-in little Technic pin. So those just pop right into the pinhole on the wrists. So that allows the arms to move basically in the up and down position, kind of like slamming down on something. And then the wrists can rotate. So you can kind of pose the hands. So it has limited posability. You know, it's either up and down and twisting slightly. So there's our second figure. really not here to do a review of this set. We'll do a separate video for that. Today we're really just looking at the build and how hard and or easy it is. So this is going to be the Green Goblin's glider. It's basically what we're building first.
So far it's pretty easy. Nothing nothing crazy. We're just stacking bricks and plates. Mostly plates. What is any Lego action set without some deadly flick fire missiles? Don't you dry out. basically one wing of the glider. We're going to build the other one right now. It's real similar to the other one. It's just kind of a mirrored version of it. So this little part of the build is going to be real familiar. It's just kind of opposite. There's the glider for Green Goblin. And he just basically just stands on, on those little black pieces. Glides in. Alright, so that's it for bag one and instruction book one. Kind of odd they gave us an instruction book just for that. We had one extra piece in that bag. Of course, we had Spider-Man. So let's go ahead and get into bag number two. No point of wasting time. First thing we're going to do is build Mary Jane and Power Man. The two minifigures. The two remaining minifigures. Right. So Mary Jane is wearing her I heart Spider-Man shirt. Go 
overprinted face, the scared face, and the happy face. I'm gonna put the happy face on. So there's Mary Jane. Next up is Power Man. Power Man is just a head, torso, and legs. Cause he's got he's got great power, and with great power comes no hair. So there's Power Man. All right, next we're gonna begin the copter. So we start off with some pretty big molded pieces. You got this Technic frame and then this um, little boat hole piece. It also acts as a airship piece. We've seen it in planes and helicopters before. And the boats. The main color scheme of this model is going to be Black, blue, and red, basically all the colors of Spider-Man hero theme. sub build I built this whole piece is going to attach to the back of the helicopter Just like that. Goes back here. Right there. You can see that little Technic pin or axle kind of slides back and forth in there. It'll probably be some sort of play feature. So we'll have to remember that when we get to that point to see what it does.
here's the other little play feature. This Technic brick with two pinholes. Put some axles in here with some stops. And put this little bitty too long thin lift arm on the end. That creates a little piece that you can push through. So that's one. We're going to build one more. They attach in the back there. I haven't even loaded anything in there yet, and it's, it's funny in the instruction books, they already tell you not to shoot your eye out, but there's there's nothing loaded in there yet. Probably won't load it till the end. I hope you don't forget by the end that you're not supposed to shoot your eye out. Now we get another little play feature. Okay. It goes there. Don't shoot your eye out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the routine. All right, so that is it for bag two. Seemed like a lot of pieces and not much really got built. So we've got a lot of catching up to, to do with bag three, which is gonna be the final bag. We do have a few extra pieces, a lot more than bag one. All of these small pieces left over. Here's bag three.
Pack three has some really big pieces. And of course a bag of small pieces. Just trying to separate the big pieces so I can find stuff easily. First thing we're going to do is flip this over and continue on with some elements on the bottom. This is the tail piece. Now it kind of looks like we're making some progress. Sub build. Let's start with this piece. Basically, using some Technic elements. Looks like this is going to be our main rotor element. Instructions call out to build two of them. So as always, I like to try to build them both at the same time. Just get them done with. So we're still continuing the, the blue and red Spider Man color theme here. Okay, so these each connect. This rotor piece, just like that. And we'll bring them over here. Slide this over. Push that down, and then these two little pins down here then slide in, and everything's locked in place. Nothing's coming out now. 
very cool. Little helicopter engine back there. Now we have another little sub build. there. So that's the rear rear propeller. Windshield that goes in the front actually does not hinge or anything, it just comes off. So just held on by a few studs up here, and then the intermediate windshield is, is hinged. Okay, now we have to build our big side rotors. We're going to do both of them at the same time. They gave me an extra one of those, so I just dropped it. I'll pick it up if I need it. And what do you know what? I need it on the next step. one and here's the second one put that one on a little tight it's still not spinning very well so if you push these technic bushings too tight um, it won't spin the, the rotary right Make sure not to squeeze them too tight. It's like the opposite of of Lego bricks. You want to have the Technic pins. Most of the axles, you want the axles a little loose, so it allows whatever's attached to them to actually move a little freely. Here we go. These connects to side. So there's that. And it looks like we're getting pretty close to being done. <clears throat> Got a few more little sub builds to do.
Okay, so there's our main rotor. Attach that to the top. Now we have four of the deadly flick fire missiles that could potentially shoot your eye out. White tipped to kind of mimic the, uh, the spider web color. Slide each one of these inside the holes. Get those Technic bricks in there. There we go. And last but not least, we have the web. It comes in this little box. It's just a cloth, cloth web. It's actually, it's actually really nice. Nice little cloth web. You kind of just, uh, just kind of ram it in this little hole over here, best you can. There's really no scientific way to get it in there. It's just squish it in there, and that is it for bag three. Have a few extra pieces, just the small stuff, and there you go. Bring everything over here. We have our Green Goblin, and of course the minifigures. So there it is. We'll do a review of the set. We'll also do another video where we look at all the minifigures, and then we'll put this uh, put this set through the test of, of playability and stability and durability. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those other videos. Give us a thumbs up if you liked this video, or if you just watched it, give us a thumbs up. Especially if you fast forwarded to the end to see this part, definitely give us a thumbs up because that's the least you could do for skipping the whole video. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.